community leaders, advocates of the path of Jesus Christ, the great messenger of peace and emancipation. I'm speaking to you as an Iranian, someone from the Middle East, the land of Abrahamic prophets, where Christians, Jews, and Muslims, Shiites and Sunnis, have coexisted hundreds of years with love, friendship, and brotherhood. Yet today, this land is burning in the fire of extremism, a fire where Christians, Jews, and Muslims, Shiites and Sunnis burn alike. Most have forgotten that for the uh, past three decades, the Iranian regime has been carrying out atrocities that are far more horrific than ISIS. Under uh, Rouhani's term, the Iranian regime has horribly intensified inhuman punishments such as eye gouging, a limb amputation, and executions because it fears the Iranian people. More than uh, 1,800 uh, have been executed so far under Rouhani. Since the onset, the regime has oppressed and harassed religious uh, minorities, uh, including uh, Sunni Muslims, uh, Christians, uh, Jews, Baha'is, and followers of other faiths. It has executed a number of Christian leaders and a large number of Christians for their opposition to the regime or affiliation with the opposition, like the Honorable Bishop Hosepian Mer, who was brutally murdered. It has denied Christians their fundamental right to practice their faith. And now several Christians, including uh, Said Abedini, have been imprisoned. Uh, the current regime ruling Iran is the epicenter of extremism. It is the godfather of terrorism, ISIS, and other terrorist groups in the region. Uh, instability in the Middle East will inevitably endanger global peace and security. I must emphasize that crimes carried out by the mullahs, their affiliated militia, and other terrorist groups like ISIS under the banner of Islam have nothing to do with Islam. Islam is the religion of compassion, friendship, and tolerance. As the Holy Quran says, uh, there is no compulsion in religion. Uh, we have uh, learned Islam from the Quran, uh, the life of the Prophet Muhammad, and other historic leaders of Islam. Islam and the Quran do not discriminate among Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, and other prophets or among their followers. Our resistance has been struggling 35 years to reveal the Mullah's false claim to Islam and the crimes they attribute to it. We struggle to achieve peace, fraternity, and coexistence, which are the supreme values in Islam. Sisters and brothers, Honorable faith community leaders, it is necessary that Christians leaders inform the public about the Iranian regime's threats and inhuman uh, practices and tell them about the difference between true Islam and what fundamentalists uh, portray of Islam. Supporting the Iranian resistance for regime change in Iran is a major step in line with the establishment of peace and tranquility, as well as putting an end to the horrible war that is expanding by the day. Uh, we can see uh, the results and impact of the efforts of many faith leaders, especially in America. Uh, the faith community in the United States have always supported uh, the just ideals and goals of the Iranian resistance to establish a free and tolerant society. Uh, your uh, generous support has helped to protect the lives of combatants of freedom at Camp Liberty. 
the residents of Liberty are sacrificing every day and endure the most difficult conditions. Uh, the late uh, Dr. Martin Luther King once said, human progress is neither automatic nor inevitable. Every step toward the goal of justice requires sacrifice, suffering, and struggle. And the residents of liberty pave the way of peace, love, and justice. Today, the Middle East is facing a watershed moment. Uh, moderate forces uh, striving for human rights must be supported, and faith community leaders can contribute a great deal toward the establishment of a free Iran where human rights and are respected. Uh, the Holy Bible teaches us to support and encourage the oppressed, learn to the right, seek justice, encourage the oppressed. Thank you and God bless you all.